In today's video, we're going to review these Jelly Fantasy Nails from KISS. I've been eyeballing this set from Target for a couple weeks now, and I finally purchased it. As you can see, these are gorgeous, so let's try them out. First, I'm creating a clean free base and pushing back the cuticle. Not only does this simple easy step help the press-ons last longer, but it makes them look better too. And it's a must, especially when applying press-ons. My nails are pretty short, but I'm going to cut them down just a little bit. I'm going to open the package now and remove the lid. I had no idea these came with adhesive tabs. I've never tried them before. I don't want to judge them since I've never tried them, but maybe that's for another video. I'll be using glue instead today. All right, so with almost all KISS press on nails, it comes with a cuticle stick. But I'll set this aside since I got ahead of myself and pushed back my cuticles already. It also comes with this mini file. Both sides of the file feel pretty much the same so I'll gently file my nail. I thought it would be interesting to time how long I take to apply press-ons from start to finish. Press-ons can be pretty simple, but there are some factors that can affect the time duration. For example, if the press-ons fit your nails perfectly, then no filing is needed, and all you need to do is glue them on. But these press-ons are too big for me. I could not find one that perfectly fit, so that means I'm going to do some filing. These nails did not come numbered, which made me go on a scavenger hunt to find its pair, and I didn't like that. Now I'm going to take my mini file and fix near the cuticle area. Alright, well that felt like a long time. When the press-ons don't fit my nails, I take my time filing so they can look natural and unnoticeable at a glance that they're pretty fake. But compared to acrylics and poly gel, this should be quicker. Next, I'm going to squeeze some of the pink gel nail glue onto the press-on, align it with my nail bed, and firmly press it on. When you apply it, you can see the glue spread and pressing it firmly helps to avoid air gaps. Since these are jelly tips, any air gaps will be visible. So a good amount of glue and pressing down firmly is the key. But when it came to my right thumb, I was a bit hesitant and it was a little too late to fix the air gap. 
So yeah, let's see how that nail does. All right, we're almost done. I'm going to file off that little tip the nail has using the mini file. I was deciding whether to add a top coat, but you'd think that the creator would add a protectant layer on top, right? So I'm not gonna add it. Next, I'm using my green tea serum. That's actually for the face, but it should take care of the cuticle just fine. And there we have it. Oh, they look so good. I like how they have a natural look to them. And it's 4.42, so it took me 39 minutes. But hey, if they look good. I will check back with you guys in seven days and see how these press-ons and the gems are doing. So see you in a few. So this is the day after actually, and they're looking the same. Nothing's changed. Until I reach day three and four, it's starting to lift off near the cuticles, but it's very minor. Me taking hot showers and dishwashing and other responsibilities affect their durability, but I need to do my daily applications. And here we are today, day number six. Today is June 10th. This morning, I had all the nails still attached. And my plan originally was to film the end of the video after I got home from work today. But during work, my right thumbnail popped off when it pressed against a box. So I was like, really? The day I was planning to end the video? But anyways, that's the reality. But keep in mind, this nail had air gaps, so it affected it. But this is the condition of the other nails. All the gems are still in place. It feels like they can last another week. But this is it, guys. I had fun doing these nails. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for my next video. Bye, guys.